All right, today we are checking out a 2003 DT 466 International Diesel uh, School Bus. And I'm gonna try to walk very quickly through uh, the main things that I look for when I am checking out a school bus. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow the camera down. with water getting into the engine basically which is mean your engine is toast and then checking your blow by to make sure you have good compression that your engine's gonna have power that your seals aren't dried up um, and you're losing all that power uh, right there your compression coming out good belt good compressor This bus, just notice how clean that engine is. I mean, any diesel bus, you should expect some uh, pretty heavy, you know, buildup from the years. They're old diesel engines, lots of buildup is to be expected. So that's a super clean engine. Main thing really to look for when you're looking for and considering leaks, that's super clean. Next to no buildup. The main thing to look for would be dripping. Uh, even if there was a lot of buildup and there's kind of like oily mist caked on the bottom, that doesn't freak me out. That just means that it may have had leaks in the, uh, in the past, it may have a really slow leak somewhere. If it's dripping, if there's drips hanging, if it looks wet, well, then you've got a current issue. Um, but that is a, definitely a very clean engine. And, doesn't even look like it's really had issues with leaking. <clears throat> um, you can check your underbody. A lot of times rust is most visible in the back. If you have rust, it's going to be really bad in the back area. Uh, this frame is super clean, uh, like no rust. Um, this spot, that is because there must be a leak up top somewhere that's running down and water's been cooling down here at the bottom uh, it's not a huge biggie i cut out probably this whole section around the license plate and pop a new piece of sheet metal in there and some new rivets and have that in place before you do any painting on it you're going to repaint or wrap or whatever you're planning to do with your build 
uh, check your tires for dry rot and uh, tread and, and whatnot. On this one, the front tires seem like they were a little bit dry rotted, but uh, the backs are actually pretty good and the tread seems decent. Actually, that was when I was looking at the other side. This front tire looks like it doesn't have any dry rot. So maybe it's just one tire on this that for some reason looks to be dry rotted. Clean bus, solid. That's how I check out a bus. Um, if I'm going to check out a bus, I always tell people I need five minutes with it, and I'll I'll be able to tell you if I want it or not. Um, but if I was checking it out and it was a first time thing, I would definitely spend a little bit more time with it. Uh, you could even let it run for 15, 20 minutes and make sure it has. Uh, isn't overheating or having anything in like that. Um, if you've checked out enough vehicles over the years, you probably catch it before having to wait all that time. You'd smell things like antifreeze or just the smell of an engine that's been overheating, and having issues. But there you go. Short, little, beautiful 23 foot international school bus. High interior height, 77 inches, two AC units, plenty for this size of a bus. Freeze re's you out of here. Um, perfect little camper size. Um, church bus, summer camp. I love it! This is actually the size that I would want, it's pretty cool.